So in today's video, I would like to share with you some brands that I have been just bowing down um, in front of because of their commitment to eco-friendly packaging. I know that that is a hot topic right now, and um, I've been trying to support those those brands um, in the clean beauty world that are not just doing right by us in terms of formulating, but those who have really pushed the limit and um, thought outside of the box for packaging. And um, one of them you've heard about from me before, and one is new. But what I've done, what I've done to myself prior to starting this video was hydrate. So, and I also put a little foundation on. Um, but I'm gonna put some more on. So I hydrated first. I gave myself. I love the scent of this. It's such a delicious jasmine. Robinot is a beautiful brand, and um, they're USDA organic. They're certified. That's pretty impressive. So this you will not. Mm, once you once you introduce this into your uh, daily routine, you're gonna want that scent around you all the time. It's amazing. And then um, I put on Balanced. It's a CBD um, face serum oil. It's delicious in texture. It's cushy and um, super, super hydrating. Uh, it makes your skin glow like, you know, most face oils do, but it absorbs so well. It doesn't leave you with that um, thin layer of shine on top. It's just like a soft satiny kind of glow. And the ingredients, so many of you have written to me to tell me that CBD has been extremely beneficial for you in skincare because it quells redness. And I've found the same to be true for my own skin, but I've had a number of rosacea sufferers tell me the same. However, um, rosacea sufferers should not use essential oils. And so this wonderfully was formulated without. Kudos to you, Balanced. Okay, so now you very well may recognize the name Kyer Weiss, but the packaging, unless you saw our Instagram live um, where I, I spoke with founder Kirsten Weiss um, about her line, her new launch. So you know these, my, one of my very favorite all time foundations. I carry them in my kit, but I would always take them out of the heavy silver metal containers and put them in a palette. But now I can carry them in these. So these are recyclable. Um, you just pop this out. You can see it has a little hole, stick a pin in there, pop that out. It's a metal pan that the foundation is in, so that's recyclable too. Just like, thank you for doing this. Um, and I always put this foundation on top of already hydrated with an oil skin. I think that the, the combination is so great. It makes skin luminous, glow, without any like little shimmery particles. It's just glowing. Everyone always remarks when I use this on them, how great their skin looks. And I get messages from all of you as if I created this line. Um, it's really sweet telling me how it really changed your, um, your perception of yourself and your, which is interesting, right? Makeup, I read this in Sassy a million years ago, Sassy Magazine, um, makeup is confidence you carry in your purse. And it remains true, right? Um, not for everyone, but for a lot of us. Okay, so the next, the brand that this video is really all about, the reason that I thought I should do a video about eco-friendly packaging is this brand, because this was their launch at um, Earth Day this year from Axiology, a name you probably already know from the clean beauty world, but they launched these lip to lid balmies and they're super cute and I love them. Um, I'm going to use this color called Champagne first. It came in the trio, but I believe you can also get it individually um, to give myself a little highlight on the eyes. This is, the texture is fabulous. It sticks around. Um, I'm, it will crease. All, all products that are like this will crease if you get it in the corner. I mean, in the, um, in the crease of your eye, but just know that and don't go there with it. Or um, just expect that you'll want to wipe that area, you know, when you get up to go to the bathroom and take a look at yourself. If you have naturally, if you have the brow bone like this, that's um, showing, you might want to highlight under there. Um, I don't so much. I don't want to highlight the fact that I don't have that um, like I once did. So I'm choosing to highlight in the inner corners. There's, you know, it's like 
every face is different so experiment and see what looks good where on you but for the most part you could use any of these on your eyelids any of the products that i'm about to show you from the line i love them they're such fun colors they're great for like as it says lip to lid so they're good for your cheeks good for your um, eyelids good for your lips i could envision many different ways of using them and then you can also um layer them so you get your own unique no one else has this color um, happening okay so then I'm thinking that I will use this which is called sorbet also so I don't did I already say this forgive me if I did um it's paper so as you begin to use the product you just peel off the paper you can put it in the recycling bin um these are also made with paper waste um, by a woman's collective in Bali. How cool is that? And um, and the packages are totally recyclable as well. Like, thank you for thinking outside of the box. Okay, then if I have foundation on, um, I generally don't just draw on my face because it will disturb the foundation more than just pressing the product in. So in this case, because this is the area that I have the most foundation on, I don't, I want to be a little bit more mindful um, of not moving it because I want to keep uh, those sunspots and some of the acne scars covered. Um, and you and the main thing with this I've found is layering it, it can really bring the um, level of color much more intensely to your skin. So like one la one layer is just a sheer little wash of color, but two or three. And when you're putting this on yourself, if you're not wearing foundation, you can really just go for it and draw it on and then smear it around. Um, I would definitely recommend putting it on somewhat, somewhat hydrated skin so that you get a little bit more fear, uh, fear. So you get a little bit more slip factor, um, fear factor. Um, a little bit more easily but how pretty is that just immediately woke up my whole face um and then i'm taking i think this is called a raspberry from the little box it was an individual and check this out look at how much color is in this so easy to apply i love the texture historically any lipstick that has had a uh, a bit of iridescence in it has not been my favorite but this has iridescence in it and i really really like it the color the way that they balance the color in it is so good this would be good on someone who has a deep dark skin tone really deep oh it'd be so good um as well as somebody who's super, super pale. I could see a lot of people using this on their cheeks as well, like this. I like to do two colors on my cheeks often, so I'll put a more soft color as the whole um, cheek area and then pop another color that's a little bit more intense um, right there, right in the highest part of the apple of my cheek. So because I have the tendency to look sunburned because my nose and is so close to my cheeks, I have such a narrow face, um, I'll add a little bit more foundation right there just to make a little delineation so that I don't look like I got a sunburn straight across. And now um, I will put on a little mascara because no look for me is ever complete without. But I do love how this looks with that, with nothing. Um, the shimmer around my eyes is just enough that it draws attention there um, without looking like, oh, wow, she's got a lot of makeup on. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with eyelash curling and you will see why when I put mascara on. I think it's the best thing that you can do for yourself. Um, it immediately wakes up the face. I'm asked all the time, what's the number one thing I should do to wake up my face to look more wide awake? Curl your eyelashes, no matter what. What, if your eyelashes are as white as blonde as mine or super dark, curl them. If they're really, really curly um, and so tightly curled, 
that they kind of curl into themselves. You can also use an eyelash curler to begin um, reworking the curl so that you get an actual swoop instead of just a really tight backwards little teeny curl. So we can all have that kind of like a fanned eyelash look. Um, it just takes practice. So, and as you know, whichever side of your nose are on, you want to do that last step and turn towards your nose to get the outer edge up. And there we go. How much more time did you think I was going to spend on my eyelashes? Probably, if you know me, you know I always spend a lot of time, but um, whenever people are new to, to me, they're like, that's a, a long time on your eyelashes. Um, I'm also going to take this from Say. It's their eyebrow um, gel and give myself a little more help in the eyebrow department. Uh, I like me with next to no eyebrows, so I like keeping this, but I, I do love a brushed up brow. Um, and one thing I want to talk about with Say is that they they launched offering um, a program where you could mail back the products, and um, I think that's awesome. And I But I also think, meaning mail back the um, the packaging and they have a partnership um, with, I'm guessing, TerraCycle to uh, recycle, which is a wonderful thing for brands to do. And if you're anywhere near a credo, you can also bring your empty packages uh, and you don't need to like make sure that every last bit of product is out, but you can bring your packages, your tubes, your um, jars, all that kind of stuff that you may not know if our, your area recycles and into the store and they will make sure that TerraCycle picks them up and recycles them. So that's the only way that I can feel good about how much mascara I use is that I know that it's being recycled. Okay, so this is the mascara from Elia called Limitless Lash, which you've seen me use time and time again. Um, one of my favorite things to do is put mascara on at the very end to show you how it really brings a whole look together, um, both on myself and on my clients, but particularly on those of us who have really pale lashes. I think mascara is the most profoundly um, altering makeup product. How fun is this lip color? The texture is so nice. So you know how some lips, lip colors, lipsticks, um, feel like you're wearing like a, a set of wax lips, those Hall Halloween wax lips on your face? Like you're afraid that it's going to slide off. You're afraid that if you smile wrong, it's going to like crease in a weird way. You're, you don't want to eat because you're pretty sure it will transfer to your fork. Um, this is, this is a, a really interesting texture. It becomes kind of one with your skin very quickly. And I'm not worried about any of that. It's not too emollient, so it doesn't feel like it's going to slip and slide around. It's such a good texture. Look at that. It's a pretty big difference. Um, I like to do a bunch of coats in the beginning and then let it dry and go back in and do one more. At the end, uh, and then also to like assess, do I want a little bit more color on my cheeks? If you were in need of doing this look quickly, you could throw these little lip, lid to lip, lip to lid balmies on and be out the door in two minutes. And you can also bring them with you when we actually do leave the house, right? This is one thing that I love about easy to transport makeup products, things that are not heavy, not complicated, um, things that can be applied with your fingers, clean, of course, fingers in a sanitary environment. Um, the ease of use is huge, huge, so extremely important. So there you go. This is my, this is my tribute to brands that are doing it right packaging wise. Um, and those that are still heavily reliant upon the plastic industry, um, I have to say, I hope things change soon. And I also am very grateful to stores like Credo for partnering with TerraCycle, for which I'm also extremely grateful um, to make sure that, that things that are small, a lot of times um, people I think are unaware of this, but components that are small, less than two inches, 
are unable to be seen um, in most recycling plants by the electric eye that you know checks everything that comes um, down the conveyor belt to figure out where it gets sorted to for recycling. Um, so these kinds of things are just discarded and again, um, end up in the bottom of the landfills and bottom of the ocean. So on that very upbeat um, note, I have to say, this is a great look. I wish I was going somewhere. See ya.